hello welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and as always huge massive thank you for the support so apologies that i missed the, the last video so i did this is a fresh plaster today although it's already looking grubby um i did manage to slice into my finger with a stanley knife saw myself doing it couldn't stop myself um and it's not a bad cut so it's just in a bad place so um it just kept flowing um throughout the day every time i did something so uh in the end i just sort of decided you know just to try and i kept pressure on it for a while and then um after a while it sort of stopped bleeding and then um i just gave it a bit of time and um having yesterday really helped so because i had a shower today and it didn't unknit so um it's looking quite nice and clean at the moment but i've just covered it up so as it doesn't gross anyone out okay so Good news i've got a new um card shape to try today you know i do like trying these ones and the thing i like about it is it's quite similar to my stepper card um in, in the measurements and things i did change a few things on it just to um mix it up um i was watching um a video um of sue stampfield and I think she does mostly like stamping up videos, but she does do um, a lot of card shapes. Um, uh, the one that she did with this, she called it a box seat card because um, it sort of looks a bit like um, what we would call in the UK a royal box. You know, that's where the, the royalty sit to watch a play or whatever, um, or people with lots and lots of cash. Um, but it is quite a nice little little take. Um, sort of taking the stepper card a step further so um, if you have managed the stepper card okay then this one will be um, a nice little challenge for you okay so I've got my usual 6x12 and this is the 300 GSM white card stock and I'm going to put that in and I've got it going to the one and a quarter point on this side and I'm going to take my blade down to three and cut up to nine. And then I'm going to turn it around and do exactly the same on the other side. So whatever we do on one side, we are mirror, mirroring, such a hard word to say, on the other. So again, from the three to the nine. And that is the cutting that we need to do for a moment. So let's just pop that out of the way. And bring in the scoreboard. Okay. So the first score is an easy one. So we're going to go in at three and at six. Um, just on the top here. So I'm not going on to this middle part okay and then i'm going to turn that around and do exactly the same on the other side so three and then six okay and then i'm just going to get my ruler and just move that up a little bit just move my mat it's just slipped and then this next one um so i'm going to go to the four there and um, i'm just going to score in the center at four and I'm going to turn that around and do the same again on that side. So at that four inch mark. So I've just butted my ruler up to there so I get a nice straight score. And it just helps me find that line for that four inch. Get that nice score. Okay, so that is how your card should look. Now the most difficult thing about this card is burnishing these two um, score lines here so I'm going to start by burnishing that one on the end and I'm going to do that back and forward it just makes it slightly easier for the card to work if you give it that extra bit of uh, burnishing and then what you need to do is just gently sort of pinch it and hold it down and give it a little burnish okay so they are going to go towards the back of our card like i say this bit is a little bit fiddly because this bit wants to go with it okay and then this one we can fold that that way and then that one we can fold 
that way it's a lot easier okay and the card itself is going to sit like so okay so those do need to go back so let's just flip it over just make sure we've got those going back to finish because that's going to help the stability of the card okay so like so um what was i going to say i was going to say something then i did do a slightly different version of this when i was practicing it okay i'll show you the other version i did just in case you want to mix it up and you'll see i've done some writing on it so i scored it incorrectly and i did um i put it at two inches here so it would have been five so that's the three that's the five so then i went back in and did the four um and what you can see is you get a more sort of hexagon look to it okay but i am going to go with the one that i've made today but you've just got that option there okay and that's just by putting those extra scores at an inch okay so and the reason why i did this at one and a quarter um as opposed to one inch like i do with my steppers is um just to make some of the matting and layering easier okay so i think i am going to use I was going to go with the oval topper, but I think that's going to be a little bit too narrow. Let's have a little look. I think it'll be all right. We'll go with that one. Okay, the reason why I like this one is because I always sort of struggle with the oval ones, but I really liked that paper. I thought it would look really pretty. So let's pop those to the side. Okay, so I am going to be using pretty much most of this card to do all my mat and layers on here. Okay, so let's bring in, actually, let's put that to the side for a second because I need my gold first. And let's bring the trimmer in. Okay, now these ones, there's two of these panels, obviously, and they are three by six. So I'm going to go two notches under the three and two notches under the six and then the same on here, two notches under the three, two notches under the six. I'll just check that they fit quite nicely and they do. Okay, so that's those ones. Um, and then if I grab another piece of gold, I need these pieces here, which um, were one and a quarter by three. So let's do those first of all. So because it was one and a quarter, I want to cut the piece to be one and two notches. And then that needs to be two notches under the three. I'm just going to check that's right, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's good. So we want four of those and should get two bits out of each little strip that I'm doing. If my cutting is a little off, it's just because I can't put any pressure on that to keep the paper in place. Okay, so one and two notches again. And, oops, two notches under the three. Two notches under the three. Now I am going to cover all of this card, so even these pieces here. So these pieces I'm going to measure, but I think it was one inch wide by three and a half. So if we go two notches under the one, and it was three and a half, so we're going to go three and a half minus two notches. Yep. And I'm just going to grab my pencil just on the back on that. Three and a half by one. That's the top layer. 
so just to remind myself when I come back because I will forget so uh, we were going two notches under the one and two notches under three and a half okay that's not going to be big enough for my next piece so let me just use the rustling last piece and so it should be three and a half again let's go there so one two three and a half and i think that should be four yeah three and a half by four so two notches under the four and two notches under three and a half and a half by four. Okay, just my memory's not very good at the moment, so I uh, just thought I'd put that on the back. And if you wanted to sort of take a note, it uh, it's there for you. Okay, so these pieces on the end, I want to use these nice pieces here. So um, I'm going to do those. So they were three by six, so we need to go to two and three quarters. And that's going to be by five and three quarters. Obviously, that's a nice piece. We can save that for another day or foiling. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So um, two and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then, so for the, I want to try and keep the stripes going down if I can. So um, these pieces here should be a one inch now by, uh, it was one inch by three. So we're going to go to two and three quarters. I'm just going to check fits on there and it does so two and three quarters so we need four of these so we're going to do another one one inch two and three quarters two and three quarters so it's quite a lot of cardstock to use on this one um, so that center piece um, was three and a half by four. So four is the length. So we need to go to three and three quarters. I think. So I'm just worrying about where because I need to take yeah because I need two strips a long way. So that's fine. So um, yeah, three and three quarters by three and a quarter. It should fit onto there quite nicely, and it does. And then these pieces were, if I grab my, so this is gonna be three and a half long and one inch wide so we don't need it to be one inch we need it to be three quarters of an inch because that's the two notches that we've gone down each time and we need that to be three and a quarter so i'll probably get both of those out of here let's just check that fits nicely on there it's a real pain not having the grip on my top finger um, is that one going to be? No, it's just going to be too small. That's a shame. Okay, so three uh, th three quarters of an inch. Come on now, let's go nice and straight. Yep. And that is going to be. Did I say it was three and a quarter? Okay. There we go. 
Okay, so now we've got some little pieces there left over. So that is always good. Let's put our matting layers on and then we can start to decorate. Okay, so the glues I'm going to be using, as usual, is going to be my Clout All Purpose glue in this clear one. And in this one, I've got the Clout Tacky glue. Um, this glue, the all-purpose glue, is exactly the same as construction glue. So if you've got that one, use that. Um, and this is just the same as a PVA. I just like it's got quite a quick grab on it. Okay, so let's start um, at the bottom. So I usually do, oh, I should have refilled this a little bit, but it's fine. Um, some all-purpose in the middle, tacky in the corners just to give me the best of both worlds. And we're gonna pop that on. Oh, got a string there. Yeah, Sue Stampfield, she, uh, I, I haven't watched a lot of her videos, I have to be honest, but she does have um, quite a lot of um, interesting card folds on her, uh, Pinterest and um, she also does YouTube videos as well. I think she's an American lady. Oh, she's got a lovely laugh. Ah, she goes. Ah, but um, yeah, so uh, I, I did enjoy sort of watching her and um, figuring this out. Okay, let's put this piece on next. So this is our centerpiece. Um, so if you're looking for, um, and also she tends to do in the smaller sizes. So um, I think America, they do tend to like the, the smaller sizes. Um, I mean here, you know, well, you know, everybody likes different things. But um, over here, the trend has been for um, sort of six by six, seven by seven, eight by eight, um, where I think the post cost of posting um over in america for an eight by eight is high you know so um a lot of the cards they tend to make are from what i've seen anyway and i'm only going by the videos that i watch um tend to be like five by seven um or or smaller occasional six by six um but the other thing i will say about sue um is not only is she brilliant, um, but she does tend to use a lot of um, papers rather than like hunky dory is cardstock. So, you know, um, you have to sort of factor that in to see whether it's going to fold as nice when it's in some cardstock rather than some paper. But it's worth a try, even if you just took a piece of card that you've got from the pound shop. I mean that wasn't that was just my normal card because that's what I had down here when I was thinking about it the other day um, but um, you know you can just sometimes I've, I've done that when I've been upstairs if I'm trying a particular fold um, just to see how it looks or what sort of topper would look nice on it um, I've done it with this sort of pound card stock um, obviously it's not Sorry, hold on just a second. Sorry, it's bin day. Well, yeah, it's bin day. So I think somebody was bringing their bin back. He's still a little bit moany, but... Tribut where I live, so there are two people. I live sort of here, and then there's two people that live here. Um, but the path comes up here, so they have to walk past our house with the bin trundling, trundling which is what he doesn't like he's like that's not that's his path even though he doesn't go out because of all of his allergies um in the garden at the back i've got uh plastic grass so um although i have got plants he doesn't really go in them in the summer um so it doesn't since we've had the plastic grass his allergies have been a lot better you know i mean he's on drugs and things for it but um, he still used to get flare-ups and things. But yeah, so he doesn't go for walks. He's quite happy with the garden. 
he's only a little boy but George is is completely opposite he would like he's hurt hurt his poor I think I did say before and uh, if he, he doesn't go for a walk he gets cabin fever <laughs> he uh, completely the opposite he has to go out and if you put your your shoes on or you go to your coat then you're automatically walking him whether you were or not yeah but we tried to not walk him so that he would rest his leg and then what he did was he started bouncing off the furniture and he was limping earlier in the day so we we found by taking him just for a shorter walk we've just got him back up to two walks because it's oh, it's the jumping when he's and like when he goes for a walk he does pull so he is sort of trying to pull himself forward on his front legs so he's sort of whatever he's done to his paw I think he's pulled a muscle or something um, and it's sort of because he's grabbing at the floor it's, um, it's making it worse so I didn't press those down very well so it's just because I haven't got the pressure in my hands great and I feel it when you sort of do something to yourself and you can't use it. Do you know what I mean? It's just like one finger really. I've got nine others. You would think. You would be not even noticing but I certainly have missed it. So we're nearly there, just going around, popping all these little layers on. And you can see this cardstock is perfect for this card because you've got that difference there in the pattern. It's really, really pretty. Okay, so last four and then we can get onto the pretty bits. You'll have to let me know whether you think, whether you like these different card shapes. So I try and keep the videos interesting, do you know what I mean? It's, um, I mean, I lo I could sit here and make six by six cards forever and a day, you know, with Hunky Dory. They all look different, you know, and uh, they all look nice. I oh, mind you saying that. There's, I've had a few and I thought, oh no, but that's just me being hypercritical. Um, yeah, so... You, I could sit and make six by six cards from here till tomorrow, but I just try and keep things a bit interesting for you, you know. I find another, um, actually it's not, I think mum wanted me to make her a few of them because she'd been watching um, Susan Tierney Coburn, Cockburn, um, Spellbinders, um, and she had a, a card shape. And um, I, when I was, I was sorting out my room and there was a cabinet in there of mums and I'd put some other things in there as well so I didn't know what was in there really. This is what I mean about the glue moving. When you're moving on to things you just have to keep checking. It's still where you want it to be. I could have done my being a bit shorter, but we all live with it. Um, yeah, and uh, I found this template, this this card blank that she'd had me made. So, but it only makes a. I think it's a six by four. It's a still a, a six by twelve piece of cardstock, but when it's all folded up, it um, makes. So. That is, I don't know why I'm putting the lid on that because I'm going to need that again in a minute. Um, and that is how it looks. And you can see it just looks really nice like that. But then it's it's the cardstock they've printed it out. Basically, we've just separated it out and put it onto our card. So we, we couldn't go wrong, really, could we? Okay, so we decided we were going to go with this one. So let's pop and it looks a bit like our Scooby so that's what I'm going to call them we've had a lot of cats over the years 
so any sort of grey tabbies all right scooby and vince uh, vince and vinnie bless him he sadly got run over um so he was only a kitten bless him so we want a little note to say i think i'm gonna put this little cat on there, even though it's not the same one, it's still a tabby. Um, and I'm going to have happy birthday on this side. And I think I'm going to go with the ginger. So this would be Barnaby for me, or well, for us as a family. I'm sure you guys have all put names to them as well. All right, I'm not sure I'm going to use this in a frame. It's very fine, you know how I like them when they're really, really fine. And again, I might do. Yeah, I'm going to use it. Okay, let's grab some foam pads and maybe. And what that was. I'm going to use it the same size. I want some one millimeter ones. There's some crafters companion ones. These are thicker. There we go. Right, so we've got one, two, and three. Okay, so I'm going to start with my centerpiece. So let's pop that on there. We're not going to stick it on just yet. So I do want this on, but I want it flat. So I'm just going to use a little bit of tacky glue just around the middle because we don't want that glue to come over the edge. I'm just going to take, and I only do this because I'm not sensitive to the glue. So just check whether you have any sensitivities before you do that. And then I'm going to pop that frame in. And pop it down. And then hopefully we shouldn't have any glue. Oops. Sorry guys. Let's pop you up there a minute. Where we don't want it to be. We're a little higher at the top than the bottom. But I'd rather have that than the other way around. Okay. So let's do... The pussy cat all and I'm gonna use actually I'm gonna use yeah I'm gonna use these chunky ones the big doorstep ones so just so we get a nice bit of um, dimension yeah Obviously you don't have to go high, you could even go flat, however you feel. And I'm hoping this is not going to affect the weighting of the card, but we might have to change them if it does. So let's pop some glue on the back. Let's pop Scooby in. And we're just going to check stands that's fine um and the reason why she was called scooby is because i had another little dog then bless him um that was called scrappy so um that's why i called her scooby scooby and scrappy and uh, she went away for a long time um and then when she came back i'd moved um, from that house because I used to literally live um, a couple of doors away from my mum like she was um, well it was three doors away um, so uh, yeah I'd moved and I'd gone like out into the sticks for lots of different reasons and um, so she came here so uh, she knew that I used to come here obviously she'd seen me coming over and uh, she was my sister's best friend really because by then we'd sort of more or less she was the last cat we had 
for a while. She was quite, uh, how do I say this nicely about her? She was very temperamental. I know cats are, but she was like, yeah, touch me, touch me, that's too much. <laughs> and uh, she'd have a go. So uh, you had to sort of take her as you found her. If she was loving you, it wouldn't last, but you made the most of it. Um, she used to, like, because my sister is quite religious, I think I've said before, um, she used to like to uh, sit on the Bible. Oh, she got cancer, bless her, and uh, sadly not to be put to sleep. But we gonna go there, I think. Uh, we buried her in the front garden, so uh, she is not far away. And then I'm gonna come. I think we will go with those crafters companion ones. So then a little bit higher, but not quite as much. So I need to make sure I am. Um, too far over that slide, but we've had like um, my nan used to have um, two cats. One was called Winnie, the girl. Was it Claude? No, it wasn't Claude. I can't remember what his name was, because um, she used to live in like when we were a kid, living in Bristol. And she used to live in um, a block of flats in, uh, uh, I think it's St John's. And uh, she, she, because she was in this block of flats, um, the um, we, uh, Winnie used to have loads of kittens all the time, cause just with this this cat that my nan had, they were like a real bonded pair, you know, they they loved each other um, so much. And uh, so, you know, my nan was always sort of getting rid of kittens, which I think is a really cool thing to see kittens, you know, sort of very young when you're, when you're young anyway. So we always loved to go in there and obviously nan bought the kittens and we had a couple of cats that had kittens as well. Um, so the fun thing obviously is naming them, isn't it? Uh, but and they didn't stay. I think I named one Zorro because he was he looked like he had the little black mask on. Um, he was cute. And then there was four one year, four kittens and I think mum named them Tinker Taylor, Soldier Sailor. My sister wants to have a cat, but I think Henry would kill it because it's just that chase instinct, you know. So maybe when he's gone, I'll have another cat. Oh, I'm not a big fan of cats, you know. I'd rather have ten dogs to one cat, you know. I love all animals, don't get me wrong. But... I am a dog mama rather than a cat mama. Although I do love cats. I think the happiest time I had was when I, I babysat one for somebody. That was quite cute because we had all the enjoyment for a couple of weeks just while she went on holiday. Okay, so I think I'm going to use these gold silvery gems just to add a bit of something. Um, I'm going to start if I grab my tweezers, there they are, and I'm just going to take one of these and come here, just pop, I'm going to pop it in there so I'm not using any ribbon, if you want to use ribbon then go ahead, um, I would suggest a yellow or a brown maybe even a red because you've got that red truck I'm gonna pop that in there so we've got two and then I want to put something in these spaces here just to um, draw the eye in 
and I actually think I might grab some red gems just to draw your eye in with that red but I want them to be quite small I want them to be they're perfect these are crafters companion ones out of a kit a subscription box but they are perfect so let me just pop so and I'm just I'm just stab myself with that there just gonna go one of them yep This is quite nice because you can line that up on the line for them. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that on the other side. Yeah, I can, I think. So, one, two, three. So, again, that medium one. I actually like the popper red, so I might carry on with the red gems. If you wanted to take any of the other um, topper sentiments, you know, you've got plenty of space to play on here. Um, I wonder why they didn't uh, produce um, a picture perfect pad for it. They usually do, don't they, on, on uh, some of the collections? They've had a lot of good stuff this week, I tell you. I swear they're trying to like kill me. Um, the decollage I was like I'm not going to buy the decollage because I've done decollage videos and I, people don't really watch them I'll be honest with you with the decollage not as much um, I think because they are quite easy to to place let me just move that one I think mm, here it is yeah, I just thought that had gone a bit smaller for the reason than it had. There's that. And that. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that, I think. It's nice, and I'm happy with the yellow on there as well for those ones. I think it needed that yellow to tie in with those cats. But that is the finished card. Like I say, it stands in a sort of W. Okay, um, in a card, uh, in an envelope, it's going to fold flat in the 6 by 6 Probably quite chunky this one, last, like I say, a lot, of people, a lot of you guys say you don't go as high. That's fine, you can easily go a little lower and it would fit in a normal card um, envelope. The only thing is, if you are sending it to somebody far away, you probably need to just tell them how it goes together. Or, if it's somebody you know, you can always just take a picture of it, assemble, and then when they open it go... Oh, I don't know how to put that up. You can go, ah, this is the way. Um, and just show them the photo, can't you? Okay, so I'm just going to get set up for card number two. Okay, so for card number two, again, I've got another piece of that 6x12 300 GSM white card. And I'm going to go just for uh, a normal 6x6 six tent fold, probably. I might do it as a side fold, but I think it's probably going to be a tent fold. I just like the way they stand a little better. So I'm just going to give that a good burnish down. I've scored it at the 6 inch mark just to make my card blank. So let's just pop that one over. Bring in the trimmer. And grab a piece of gold cardstock again. And we're going to do our normal two notches off the six inch all the way around. Okay, let's check if it's quite nicely. I like that. And then just because we're going to use that the other one, we'll call that one Vinny, because we called the other one Scooby. And Vinny was a very similar colour. So um, this one needs to be five and three quarters. And I want to keep this brown in the bottom. And this wallpaper looks very similar to my sister's bedroom. She's got 
birds on it like that and they're all kind of silky so very pretty birds of paradise sort of thing she's got okay so that is our base card um i actually want this out so let's just grab that out quickly and give it a nice straight edge I've been really looking forward to this kit do you know what I mean I, kn I know it was sort of a little bit longer with the post and everything um, but I have been really looking forward to playing with this kit I'm not sure whether I'm going to get the decollage I really want to like I said a lot of great images in there and I think if I get my um, get my little crafting base and little that I'm working on sorted quick enough I might might do it might buy it or oh, I still have got last year's there to be honest and quite a lot of it so once I am sorted and got things arranged how I want them down here I should be able to just go and craft whenever I want rather than specific times so it's quite nice having it in in here because at the moment I'm in the living room but you don't want to make too much mess do you know what I mean so you uh once I'm in my little space although I'm not far away from the living room and it will be a little colder because I'm not sure the heating is that great in there and it is a small space I mean what I'll do is once I've got it sorted and everything sort of labelled and where I want it to be I'll do a little my teeny tiny craft room video and show you where I work where I make these cards and things and hopefully that will sort of inspire you if you've only got a little nook yourself then uh, you know, yeah, well, when you see the size of it you'll be like oh maybe you've got a bigger place than me there I mean I'll still have to keep loads of bits in my bedroom but um it's uh, it's nice to be able to sort through things and that Okay, so I'm not sure, quite sure how I am going to put these yet. I did have an idea about mixing up the angles with these with these um, frames. Maybe let's see. Oh, that looks like a cat's eye, doesn't it? I don't want that to be quite so much inside it. I wonder if I can cut that in half. Let's be brave. I know I don't want to use it as a hole anyway. So, got that there. And then bring that in. Like so. So we've got this sort of it doesn't matter about this bit here because we're going to have the topper on oh yeah I like that okay so let's start do we want to go flat with that I think we do want a little bit raised on this but only by a millimeter or so so let's grab those thin ones Just fade. there we go I don't think I've got any small squares to hand. I want my have a look. Let's move those out of the way. Yeah, so I like the um, large sentiment book as well. Um, I wonder if they would ever do like hot foil plates with their sentiments. Because some of them are really lovely, you know, the sentiments, obviously, some of them are themed to the kit, like your perfects and stuff, but the fonts and things on, on some of the sort of more everyday ones are uh, quite, yeah, quite, it's quite sweet, uh, quite cute. Um, and I'd love to be, because I always find with the little books, I love them, and I've got a couple of them. 
but um, obviously sometimes they're a little bit too small um, but I do small cards anyway so that's not really so much of a problem for me but um, the one I want is always in the like the wrong colour like it'll be on red and I want a green and then the green one is a completely different one so uh, that's why I do I have been enjoying sort of foiling my own um, although I haven't used any on a card yet well I have used a couple over Christmas didn't I but uh, I am going to be using them more I've got quite a few plates now from Spellbinders did buy a few from Aliexpress and Timu but I did check around to see if I could see if they were copies and I don't think they were you know touch wood hopefully they're not probably somebody will come and say actually that is a copy um, I try not to you know support sort of that thing that sort of stealing of people's work or yeah, you because know, it's come out of somebody's head you know what I mean it's like they've put the, the work in it's nice to have your work stolen um, but uh, Spellbinders one I tend to buy in the sale I've got a better press and I'm quite tempted with those at the moment those plates because although they are quite expensive because they're usually about you know high 20s 30s so I'll just pop that in the middle but there's three things you can do with them well not the sentiments obviously but um, the better press plates you know you can um, better press with them so you can print with them um, you can um, gold foil with them and the backgrounds you can emboss with them like an embossing folder so I think because you've got that triple like triple ability with them is quite you know I don't really mind paying the money for their for that sort of capability when you've got those three ways to use and think so I've just got a bit of glue on that gold I'm just going to wipe that off with a bit of tissue it is clean it's just been I bought some in in case I needed some okay and then I'm going to do the same with this one so again a little bit of tacky glue wipe it off on my hand remember I'm not sensitive but do check whether you are sensitive before you start doing that just gonna put those into there so let's see yeah I think that's nice okay so this one I think I'm gonna go do the two millimeter pads so we can use the bigger one I think Come on. I can't think what else they've had this week that's been really cool. Oh, the pocket pads, the new ones. So I didn't really like the colouring in ones. My sister loved them. Um, in fact, she has got quite a few on her wall that she coloured out. That one that I got in the goodie box. So uh, she did love them. Just see. Um, but it wasn't really my thing I, I do like colouring now and then but it's not a regular thing for me she's the colourer she's very into colour colouring and pencils and things um, but the new ones I really did like I thought they were nice because they're like little books but not oh, I'm thinking we may be going above, but that's fine. There we go. So we've got our cat's eye on. There's something down a little bit in the middle. So maybe come off a minute. Come on, Vinny, behave yourself. All the way, all the way, all the way. And then, there we go. Let me just grab one of these one millimetre pads. And that should be fine. 
for me to somewhere I'll put that glue there because we're going to hide it again with this. That's better, much better. Okay, so now we want our sentiment. We've got for a very special someone. I don't know if I want to use that or not. Let me grab my um, little bottle of oil. Okay, so I've got this little, little binder thing from... Um, this one actually came from Timo. I've got one in blue and one in br uh, green for the Christmas one. So I'm trying to organise them. This is like a money wallet. And I want to get one in an A5 to put the spare frames in. So, um, yeah, I've been sorting them out. So let's just see. I don't think I want a white one. So we have got... Let's take that out for a second. So these are blue and green. Let's just pop that there. And probably the A5 one would have been better anyway, but let's have a look and see what we've got here. So I think the blue is better anyway, the Ducko blue. The world is lucky to have you. Blessings. You warm my heart. That's quite a cat call. Catish, isn't it? You're amazing in every way. Um, hug and love. You're so amazing. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. You're in my heart. Don't think I want a lovey dovey one. You're next level amazing. I'm here for you. Let's look. Send in love. Maybe that one. Or you're a great friend. I like that. You're a great friend. I think that's going to be the winner. Got a you're so kind that could be for somebody looking after. We've got a just for you, just a note, forever love, forever love. Uh, miss you, you're so kind. I think actually I might go with just for you, but I like your great friend as well. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's go with just for you. I'm going to pop that one down there. Pop those back in in a minute. And the other thing we're going to want is some gems. I think I might bring these crafters companion ones back as well because there's a kind of nice blue there. I don't think I've got anything more duck eggy. Uh, pearls. Maybe pearls. Yeah, we'll go pearls. They're still crafters companion. But hey, hey. And I think what I did in here was, did I? Yeah, I cut just some plain white ones out. So it's the same size. It might take me ages to go through and find that same size. One's right, and just one more. Yeah, that's perfect. And so, with it being quite narrow, sometimes it's hard to get the. I mean, we could use the foam tab, foam tape, uh, the the thin ones, but on this one. But if it's like quite filigree or. Um, like this. Sometimes it's, it's easier just to cut it out of some spare cardstock, some like white. You could have, you know, where you've gone wrong. Could be anything really. Could be even packaging. And then you just get a bit of. Oh, this is still moving around. Just needs to to stick. Let's give that a minute. And let's do our gems. So we know where our sentiment is going here. And I think if I grab more pointies, um, tissue gone, let's just clean that off. And I'm going to go with like three in a row. I'm just going to simply go large, medium, small. Might put these a little 
bit too close together. Let's pop that on there over those two. same here so let's do that big one first of all and then we can do our two other ones and a teeny weeny one come on play the game Because I like my odd numbers, I'm going to put a big one just down here because we've got sentiment in the other side. So let's pop that in. And I did get a mega kit with this, so there's the embossing folder with the balls of wool as well, which is quite cool. I might already have it, but wouldn't know where it was. Okay, so I'm just wondering whether to go in with one there, so I'll get a bigger one. No, no. No, no, we'll step away. Okay, so have you stuck down? and it's just moved the tad so let me just take that little off okay. so now we've got a nice solid sentiment sentiment down for a moment okay so that is, I didn't use that border did I after I got it wrong um, so that is the card um, that's the one finished obviously I've got the insert to put in but I'll do that off off camera you've seen me do that before so that is fine so that is that one standing very cute like that and then obviously we've got our theatre box card or as I really want to call it a royal box card so those are the two for today so hopefully you've enjoyed them let me know if you still want to see the different card styles if you want to you know see the odd one like this it's not going to be all the time I sort of go through phases where I really get interested with the new folds or different folds um, and then I go back to my sort of my normal ones which is uh, you know where I am most comfortable sorry excuse me if i'm honest with you um but that's it for today so um next time i'm going to be back with a different one that was perfect wishes um and next time i'll be back with one of the other groups of cats um we'll see what i come up with then but until then thank you for watching take care of yourselves happy crafting Bye bye